everybody so I haven't done a mom favorites in quite a few months so I thought it'd be fun to do one right now to share with you the things I'm currently loving I have food stuff some kids stuff some mom stuff makeup a whole bunch of random things I'm just going to share with you so probably my first favorite this month is not an actual product it is my new channel and if you're not aware I started a new channel all on gluten-free products which I'm really excited about I started a new Instagram too both are called gluten-free discoveries I will leave links down below basically I share the things that I buy that are gluten-free I tell you what they taste like I show you what they look like I tell you where I find them and it really truly is a passion of mine finding new snacks and even if you don't necessarily if you're not gluten free you will still enjoy these snacks because I find some really good finds so there I have so many favorites because obviously I've been searching more now that I have these two outlets to post them on um, I will try and put up some pictures of my current favorite foods but if you want to see them in more detail again I will leave the YouTube channel down below and the Instagram this next item was actually sent to me to review and they are giving you guys a 10% off coupon code so I wanted to put this in this video so that you would see it in case you're interested I'll of course leave their website linked down below with the coupon code but the company's name is Basilic or Basilic I'm not exactly sure how to say it but you can read it in the description and it is a portable diaper changing station essentially this is what it looks like here how cute is that pattern first of all what I like about this right off the bat before I open it up and show you what it is is that it's really high quality the materials are very very Thick, it's well stitched you can just tell when you feel something that it's very high quality and it's not going to fall apart it just feels very very sturdy I know I can't really portray that through the video but I really like the way it looks and like I said it feels like it's going to hold up very well so basically it comes with a little handle like so and there's also a little handle on the side here that you can unclip and clip to your stroller or whatever you happen to be doing there's also a zipper on the front here that goes all the way across so you can open it up and put whatever essentials you need for changing baby or just if you want to throw your wallet in there. So that is the outside and then as you open it up, like I said, it's not just a changing pad, it's a changing station. I don't know if you guys have seen these before. So this is the top portion here. Basically it can fit all your diapers in here. It's just like a stretchy elastic band with Velcro. And then this next compartment here is for wipes. And as I come in close, you'll see that there's a gap in the middle. And that's because the wipes can actually go right through and then the hole that the wipes comes out of fits here in the middle so you can just pull the wipes out but the rest of the container stays put and then along the top here there's another zipper where you can keep anything essential like diaper cream to change your baby so that's this black top portion here and as we continue to go down you actually see the changing mat itself so I'm going to open it up for you like I said this is this is a really heavy duty changing pads the ones that come in most diaper bags are kind of flimsy and they're not too big but first of all the size of this is really good and it's quite thick like I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell through here it's padded so it's nice and comfortable but it's also got a bit of stiffness to it so you can just tell that it's definitely gonna fold up like this so you don't have to mess around with trying to fold it back the way it came I know a lot of diaper bags are like that I can never get it folded the same way this is automatically always going to fold exactly the same way comes with velcro to hold it shut and there's the bottom piece here as well so yeah basically what this is is instead of bringing your whole diaper bag with you you can just have this changing station so one thing I would probably would do is leave this in the car because if I need to do a di diaper change in the car or if I'm just running in somewhere I don't need the whole diaper bag it'd be good to have this always stocked because then you know you always have wipes on you you always have diapers on you so that's what this is for one last thing I should mention is that you can actually detach the top portion here from the change pad itself so there's a zipper along there in case you just want the change pad and then when you order it it does come with this little wristlet kind of mommy purse as well that matches and I love these for my wallet so yeah that is the diaper pouch again if you're interested I'll leave a link down below along with the 10% off coupon alright let's jump to makeup really quick because I haven't talked about makeup here on this channel in a while and I have a foundation kind of BB cream combination that I am absolutely loving and they well one of them's new to me the other one I was using throughout the summer I just got a lighter shade so I'll remind you what that is first it's still a favorite it's the super BB insta ready from physicians formula I don't know where the cap is so excuse that I'm holding the bottom of it, but that's what it looks like there I used it all summer long and I'm currently using it now right now I'm using the light shade and in the summer I was light medium and it has really good coverage like 
a solid a solid medium I would say and um, it doesn't get too oily and it just it blends into the skin really well but throughout the winter I usually want more of a full coverage than I do in the summer I don't know that's just the way I am so I did a Sephora purchase recently if you saw on my top Tuesday I haven't been there since like last winter and I decided to splurge and get a pricey foundation but it really is awesome so if you're someone who likes to spend a bit more on makeup then I would recommend this one it's the Marc Jacobs remarkable foundation that's what it looks like there. It is an interesting way to apply it. It's not like a pump or anything. It's this little, it's not even a dropper. It's like a stick. So you could just put this onto your hand or directly onto your face, which probably isn't that sanitary because then you're putting it back in the bottle. Um, I usually mix it together with my fingers, so I'll just dot a bit on my fingers. But this, this is serious high coverage. So like I said, I usually mix the two. If I really am having a no makeup day, I'll just use this one. I very rarely just wear this on its own because it's very very full coverage but I have both on my face right now and I really like them so anything I can find a link to uh, for this whole video I will leave links down below all right so now for the giveaway before I get into the details I want to tell you a little bit about this new company the owner's name is Sarah and she reached out to me several weeks ago now maybe even several months ago about her new product called chart a la carte and she wanted me to have a look at it it hasn't even launched yet and I think it is such a fabulous idea basically she's given you the ability to design your own organizational system System, and there are so many different options out there. As you can see from this awesome video she sent me, she provides fabric and push pins, wooden and acrylic magnets, as well as free printable, dry erase markers, and then the actual board itself. And from there, it's up to you what you create. cute idea. I just love it. I love that you can use it for organization in your house, for to-do lists or grocery lists, things like that, but you can also use it as decorations. And just looking on her website here, she has a lot of different themes and different ways to customize it, so you really can do anything with it. So the product itself doesn't actually launch till the spring, so this is kind of a sneak peek for you guys, but she did want to let you know about it and give you guys a giveaway, which I thought was so kind. I will leave a link to enter the giveaway down below. There'll be a link to click, and then you just go in there and enter that way but she is going to be offering one lucky winner a $150 gift card from her website when she, once it launches in the spring. So that's crazy, $150. And she's also sending you a set of her snowflake magnets that you can decorate your boards with. This contest is open to the US and Canada and the prize will ship on December the 14th. But in the meantime, if you wanna see more of what she has in store, definitely check out her website listed down below. All right, let's move on to my kids really quickly. I actually should have brought up some of their favorite toys. I might actually do a gift buying guide thing that I used to do uh, for like kids ages five to eight or something like that if you're interested because that's around the age of my two older daughters so I might do something like that but I'm just thinking of their favorites it's still Lego to be honest and makeup which I'm not I don't definitely I don't approve of necessarily but um, they got makeup from the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique in Disneyland and it came home with them and they have just been going crazy with with makeup and nail polish as well so it's kind of messy <laughs> so they've been loving that what else Kayla had her birthday and she um, got a Wii U like video games um, so she's been really into that so yeah I might do a whole separate video on that Cassidy um, I brought some stuff the first one is this spoon I actually did a review on it when she was a baby now that she's a toddler she is still using it. This is her favorite spoon. It's the Ola Sprout spoon. As you can see, it's uh, very, very soft, but it still has a really nice scoop to it. When she was a baby, she used to just chew on it and kind of pretend to feed herself. And now that she's older, she is feeding herself. And I find that the food just kind of, I don't know, it stays in this scoop better and it's a good grip for her hand. So I wanted to let you guys know she is still loving this. And then the company actually sent me one of their nail trimmers, which I've never seen anything like it before. It is called the Trimo Electronic Nail Trimmer. Hang on, I'll set the box for you. It's from Ola Baby. Again, I'll link everything down below. That's what it looks like. So it's more like an electronic nail file than actually clipping your child's fingernails, which I think is a good idea because my husband's actually the one in our house who cuts their nails because I'm so worried I'm going to cut their fingers, especially when they're little babies anyways. So this is what it looks like. It looks like a little egg. 
And then if you take off the lid here, that's what the inside looks like. So there's three of these little, what'd you call them? They're like sandpaper almost. Um, little clips that you can put on the actual trimmer. That's the inside of the trimmer. So you just click it on. And then as you can see, there's an LED light, which is perfect when you're coming in to trim your child's nails. Instead of um, actually snipping them, you're just kind of grinding them down. So I'll show you what it sounds like when it's on. I don't want to actually grind down my nails right now because they're finally growing, but it's just rotating and then it's going to gently grind down the nail. So how cool is that? Especially if you're kind of squeamish about kids. I'm sorry, I hope you guys can hear me, but especially if you're kind of squeamish about cutting your children's nails, I think that's a great idea. So I will leave that link down below as well. All right, two last mom favorites. This one I've been using a lot because I have been swimming recently and I use it when I swim. I don't know if you guys remember, I did a review on them over a year ago and I'm finally getting the opportunity to really put it to the test. And this is the, it's from underwateraudio.com and it's basically a, a way to listen to music underwater show you what they look like so these go in your ears and they're waterproof while you're swimming and then this is an underwater iPad or not iPad iPod so you know it can get wet and it doesn't get damaged so I can clip this to my bathing suit because it has a little clip on it and then I put the headphones in and I can swim and listen to music which honestly as a swimmer growing up was a dream of mine and I can't believe that it exists now so if you're a swimmer it exists it's definitely worth it I love it and the last thing I wrote down to talk about I'm sure I've talked about before is LuLaRoe I have been loving LuLaRoe clothing for just over a year now um, I've been I purchased so many of their items I'm sure you guys have heard of LuLaRoe if you haven't looked them up they're everywhere you can usually find someone near you it's not as big in, in Canada as it is in the US so I've done a lot of purchases through people in the US there is one person local to me so when she has open houses I will go over there now she's relatively new to it Canada is kind of behind the US well it always is but uh, with LuLaRoe I actually really wanted to get involved myself and start selling it because I love it and I love the opportunity and I asked back in February and she said there's kind of like a rep for all of Canada she said they weren't taking any new um, people on board because they're still figuring out logistics for Canada and I'm still waiting and it's in November I'm still undecided now at this point with my health and everything if I'm really going to do it but it will be really tempting if the offer comes up I'm not sure what's taking Canada so long but if you've been thinking about trying out LuLaRoe some of their clothing, do it. I love it. I love their leg leggings. I love their Irma tops because they're long. Like I like tops, that, like tunic tops that cover my bum. I like their cardigans. I like their Nicole dress. There's a lot of things I like. So that's definitely a favorite as well. But yeah, I think that's it for my mom favorites. I really hope this video wasn't too long. But thank you if you stuck around to the end. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.